Hey guys, so today I want to show you my beauty haul. These are just some beauty items I've picked up the past week and I thought I would go ahead and show you. So I'm really quickly going to show you the things I got from MAC. Um, and some of these things you've probably seen like in my recent tutorial that I did. But um, yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing is from MAC. I got the MAC Fix Plus. I've been wanting this for a while and I finally just went ahead and picked it up. And I also got a new blush. This reminds me so much of my um, Love Rush blush, but it's definitely different. It definitely has like a pink burgundy undertone. But this one's in Breezy. And I thought this one would be really pretty for fall. Um, I really, really like it. It's a sheer tone shimmer, um, but with a really light hand, it's going to look so pretty, and I just really, really like it a lot. So that's all that I got from MAC. From Ulta, I got three new brushes. They're Real Technique brushes. I love when beauty gurus come out with things. I'm all about supporting other girls, so I had to pick some of these up, especially since everybody raves about them. So this one is the powder brush. Then we got the Expert face brush and the blush brush so that's those they're really soft and I can't wait to wash them so I can really start using them um, and then I had gotten three color tattoos but I did not realize that I picked up another bad to the bronze which of course I already have so I gave that one to my mom um, and I picked up two other ones from the newest collection this one is barely beige and they're Maybelline color tattoos I don't know if I said that and then there's this one which is mossy green so that's that and then I got a few things from NYX. I just got four pigments. Jade Pearl. You've seen this one. It's the Glitter Mania pigment, and this is in blue. Then we've got Mocha Pearl, which is really pretty. And then we got Orange Pearl. And I also picked up three of the new liners that they came out with. Um, they're called the Glam Liner Aqua Lux Waterproof. And I got the... Azura one which you guys have probably seen already just a really pretty blue color and what I also love about these is that not only do they have the color right here but they have them on the tip as well and I got Lagoon which is like a really pretty green color really pretty I like this one a lot and then I got the purple one which is just called glam purple I think they all have glam in front of it yeah they all have glam in front of it so this is just called purple I find like, I feel like this one's a little bit more sheer, but it's still really pretty, and I like it, so that's the purple one. Very pretty colors. Okay, and then I got two new concealers. I got the Derma Blend one, which you will see in my upcoming face routine, which I will post um, after this video, but this is what it looks like. I got it in Sable, and I really, really like it, especially for the redness on my face. And then I got the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. And this is in Light Golden. Really, really, really love that. And then I got the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I've heard so many good things about this. But the main reason why I just finally picked it up is because it was on sale for $9.99. Which I thought was a steal for this 16.9 fluid ounce bottle. I thought that was amazing. And I love the nozzle on it. I've used it a few times already. And I think it's just great. It's a soy tri wheat leave-in conditioner. And I've heard so many people talk about this and love it. And I was so happy to finally pick that up. So I went to CVS the other day. And I went to pick up some body wash or whatever. But I also picked up this Dream Matte Powder. Um, I heard Marissa Lace talk about this. And then once I saw Miss Glamorazzi's video, I was like, okay, I have to go just go and pick it up. Because a lot of things that she's recommended, I went and picked out, or I went and picked up, and I actually really love it. So I really trust her opinion. Um, but this is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. Um, it is in medium 01 sand, and it looks really light, especially when you um, swatch it on your finger. But I feel like it's sort of a transparent powder. It's not really going to give you a lot of color payoff. Um, but it's really great to keep in your purse, and I've been trying it out. I'm not going to say I love this more than the Cover Talks 10 powder yet, because I'm still trying it out, um, because that powder is, like, my favorite from Physicians Formula. Um, but we'll see. I think this is cute, and I like the fact that it has a little puff, because you never know. You might leave a brush at home by accident and need a puff, so that's really nice. And so today I went to two drugstore places. I'm going to show you CVS first. Um, so I just picked up some more cotton rounds from CVS just for my favorite toner, which if you don't know, I'll link my August favorites down below and you can go check that out. 
Um, Revlon and Maybelline were buy one, get one half off. So from Revlon, I just got two nail polishes. I got the Rich Raspberry, which is a really pretty um, burgundy kind of color. And I just love this one because it really screams fall. I really like this. And this one's my favorite. I'm going to paint this on my nails as soon as possible. Um, this is called Amethyst. Yes. And that's what it looks like. I don't think it's picking up the really nice like glitter shimmers or whatever in this nail polish. But this is a beautiful, beautiful nail polish. And if you've never tried the Color Stay nail polishes, you really need to because I can go a week without a chip. Like I know for sure it's a week without a chip for me. Um, so I highly recommend them. I think they're really awesome. So love that. And then from Maybelline, I just got three more color tattoos. I know it's so crazy. Um, but I picked up one more from the newest collection that I didn't get at Ulta and it's the Rich Mahogany. So it's a really pretty brown color. I like this one a lot. And then I also picked up two from the permanent collection. Um, I've been eyeing these for forever. Seriously, these two I've just wanted for so long and I'm like, just pick them up. I can't figure out if I want Edgy Emerald yet because it's so pretty but I don't know if I want it yet. Um, but this is Tenacious Teal. And this one is painted purple. I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful purple. Love this. And then, I know a lot of people say they hate this blush, but honest to God, I think the only reason why I even picked it up is because I want to feel the blush. Um, so it's the Dream uh, Bouncy Blush from Maybelline. I got mine in a plum wine, which is pretty dark. And I know a bunch of people say that um, they don't like these because they're not pigmented and stuff like that, but... If this isn't pigmented enough for me, CVS has an amazing return policy, so I could just go and return it. Um, Walgreens kind of gives me more hassle, but I know CVS is amazing with returns, so if it sucks, I'll let you know. <laughs> and I also had a $2 off coupon for Rimmel, so I got this quad. This is in Precious Crown. I've actually been eyeing this for a while as well. It has like a dark green, a dark purple, a dark blue, and it looks like a black. So I got this um, for pretty cheap, I think. So then I went to Walgreens and I just picked up some more face wipes because I don't have any more and I kind of like trying them out but I get really nervous when trying new face wipes out because I, some of them will break me out. This is a, I'm probably going to butcher this, Lum, Lumini uh, Finland Sensitive Touch Gentle Cleansing Wipes. I picked these up because they're for sensitive skin and also because it won the 2011 Allure Beauty Award so um, I thought that was great. So I just picked these up. I'll let you know what I think. And then I picked this dry shampoo up because I purchased it. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. I'll put my name down below. But on Instagram, I uh, bought some new hair products, and this was one of the products that I purchased. I've been loving it. I had a tag around it that said $2 off once you, like, right when you purchase it. So these are like $6 and something cents a piece, so I think I got this for like 4 bucks. And I just wanted to back up, so I thought that was great. Okay, and at Walgreens, I saw these Wet n Wild little individual shadows hanging up and we all know Wet n Wild is pretty amazing. If you haven't checked them out you really should because their shadows are so pigmented and so are their blushes and oh I didn't know they were cruelty free. How cute! I didn't know that so there's an extra bonus. Um, but I picked these up because they were $1.99 and these shadows look a lot bigger than the individual shadows that they usually have. Um, so that's a pretty big, to me that's a lot bigger. Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm probably crazy. I got the colors Stage Dive, which I'm obsessed with. I love this blue. How pretty. Can't really get the gist of how gorgeous it is, but it's really pretty. And then also Sell Out, which is really pretty. Got my favorite gum, Dentine Pure. Holla! And then Revlon was buy one get one half off at Walgreens, which I should have thought about that because I got three things and I could have just totally skipped this eyeshadow. But I went ahead and picked it up. Um, this is the Revlon Diamond Lust in Plum Galaxy. And you can't really get the gist of how beautiful this is. But it has like, it's like a purple glitter shadow with um, some pink glitter, some blue glitter, and purple glitter. So it's very, very pretty. Then I also got another Revlon Color Stay. I just went down a shade. So the, really, the one I use now is Fresh Beige and I went down to Medium Beige um, just in case I get lighter. I do self tan so I pretty much plan on staying these two colors for the fall and winter time. And then I saw this. Now I'm not usually into like eyeshadow palettes like this. I don't know. Um, I really like this one. This one just caught my eye and this was in the new like 
it was in the Revlon setup with the new products. So this is called Beach Beauty, and the main reason why I got it was for that color right there. But look at how gorgeous the rest of the colors are. Like the gray, the black, the cream, the brown. I really liked it, and I was thinking, you know, it's really a gorgeous palette, so why not? So I picked that up too. And then the last thing I got was this Maybelline Mineral Power Powder Foundation. Um, I don't know if this is my color, but I got Creamy Natural, which is light 5. It's like the darkest light. I was so annoyed picking out my color because I cannot figure out what color I was. Um, you know, you look in the pan and it looks one color, and then they all look the same. When, I don't know. It was very hard picking out a color. Hopefully it matches. If not, hopefully um, Walgreens doesn't give me a hard time about returning or exchanging. So, but I really wanted to try this out. I've heard so many great things, and um, it's oil-free, talc-free, fragrance-free, so. So that is everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you did. Let me know some of your favorite drugstore products down below. Feel free to leave video responses as well, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.